and there are four questions to be put as a result of today's business. The first question is that Amendment 13041.2 in the name of Douglas Ross, which seeks to amend Motion 13041 in the name of Hamza Youssef, on WASPI, Women Against State Pension Inequality, be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote. I would be grateful, given that members have already voted today, if they might refresh their screens before we move on to the vote. The question is that Amendment 13041.2 in the name of Douglas Ross, which seeks to amend Motion 13041 in the name of Hamza Youssef on WASPI, Women Against State Pension Inequality, be agreed, and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. Point of order, Christine Graham. My uh, gadget wouldn't connect and I would have voted no. Thank you, Ms Graham. We'll ensure that's recorded. <laughs> The result of the vote on amendment number 13041.2 in the name of Douglas Ross is yes 31, no 74. There were 21 abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that amendment 13041.1 in the name of Paul O'Kane, which seeks to amend motion 13041 in the name of Hamza Youssef on WASPI, Women Against State Pension Inequality, be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we'll move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed.
The result of the vote on amendment number 13041.1 in the name of Paul O'Kane is yes 21, no 95. There were 11 abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that motion 13041 in the name of Hamza Youssef on WASPI, Women Against State Pension Inequality, be agreed. Are we all agreed? The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. Doesn't need one, but yeah. The result of the vote on motion 13041 in the name of Hamza Youssef is yes, 75. There were no votes against. There were 52 abstentions. And the motion is therefore agreed. And the final question, the final question is that motion 13045 in the name of George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau on parliamentary recess dates be agreed. Are we all agreed? The motion is therefore agreed. And that concludes decision time. A point of order, Ross Greer. Thank you, Presiding Officer. I'm seeking a clarification on an email circulated from the Chief Executive's Office to all MSPs in relation to the protest camp currently taking place outside Parliament. I understand entirely that if an MSP or a member of staff were to take part in camping outside, that we or they would indeed have breached the policy. But I've been contacted by a number of staff and by other MSPs who are unsure because there's some ambiguity about the message that's been sent to us and some are left under the impression that any engagement at all with those taking part in the protest, simply speaking to them on the way in or out of this building, would also be in breach of that policy. I was wondering if you could offer reassurance to MSPs and staff that simply by speaking to those who are protesting outside that we would not have breached the Parliament's protest policy. Uh, thank you, Mr Greer. As, as you will be aware, that is not a question as to whether proper procedures are or have been followed in the Chamber. Um, the Code of Conduct for MSPs states that members must abide by the policies that are adopted by the Scottish Parliamentary Corporate Body. And one of these policies, the protest policy, includes the restriction that protesters should not camp at any time, including overnight, for protest or any other reason. And it has been made clear to the current protesters that while we support the right to protest at Holyrood, they do not have permission to camp on the Parliament's grounds and they are not in compliance with the corporate body's protest policy. And it is expected that members would withdraw from any protest that breaches the terms and conditions set out in the Parliament's policy. We will now move on to members' business in the name of Maggie Chapman.